Gamers and game match, what is going on? My name is Snack127 and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. And today we're going to be talking about how I feel about Black Ops 4 because this one has been a, a bit of a long time coming. And um, I have to say for starters, needless, I'm excited, but um, I'm going to let you guys know. I am still a bit in the honeymoon, you know, hype phase a, a bit for this game, I'm not going to lie, but I wanted to wait a while before I made this video just to try and let that wear off, but all my thoughts and everything are together right now and so you know I want to get my opinions and everything out there right now because even though it's the honeymoon phase right now with this game is a time where I know what I really like about this game and what I don't like about about this game now um just a little a little background about me I've been playing Call of Duty for several years now my first Hardcore all year round Call of Duty was Modern Warfare 2. The first one I played was COD 4. However, I jumped into COD 4 very late in its life cycle. I'm talking Modern Warfare 2 was coming out in November. I started playing Call of Duty that October. So yeah, you know that's um I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna safely say Modern Warfare 2 was technically my first Call of Duty game. Now um. I've been playing for for um for years hardcore steadily every single Call of Duty I play for the full for the full life cycle except for the past few Infinite Warfare I played about halfway through its through its life cycle Black Ops 3 I played about three quarters through its life cycle Advanced Warfare I played the the whole year until Black Ops 3 and um Call of Duty Ghosts I played for the whole year until Advanced Warfare came out. Now, personally, I haven't been super hyped for a, for a Call of Duty since um since Advanced Warfare and Ghost. I know I do, you know, go crazy. I rant and you know I get hyped and pumped up on Twitter about games about games like Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, but they just didn't you know hold my attention as much as those past two games did. Now, this current game is, and the reason I know that it's been a long time since you know I've played a Call of Duty where I just want to wake up every day, do what I need to do, and the first thing I do when I finish, you know, like, working, spending time with my kids, you know, whatever it is I'm doing, and the first thing I want to do is jump right on Call of Duty and grind. Like, I was skipping a lot of my MMO dailies because I just wanted to get on this game, grind, play some matches, and, and, and stuff like that. And it's been years since I've felt that way about a Call of Duty game and that's a that's a really really good um good thing to me now this game what does it feel like honestly there's still a lot of people out there saying it's a Black Ops 3.5 I don't think so my personal opinion I say take Black Ops 2 and give it Black Ops 3's little um little dash slide movement mechanic thing that's my personal my personal opinion one thing I did notice is in this game especially um, if you can even tell when I'm moving around the map, you do jump a tad bit higher in this game. There's no advanced movement in it, but it, I don't know. To me, it just feels like you can jump higher in here. Let me know in the comments if you guys played the beta and you feel like that. But I, I don't know. I just felt like you could jump a bit, a bit higher in this one, which you know I found was weird. And they even said they're nerfing the um, the jump height in this game, so I feel like they um, you you can. But um. So far, what I'm what I'm feeling about this game, honestly, is. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying this more than the past few Call of Duties I have played. And you know, I really wish that I could get you know a lot of my um, a lot of my veteran buddies to you know to come back to Call of Duty for this one. But it's too late, too little, too late for a lot of people. And you know, I completely, I completely understand that. But I feel like this is the um the time where they're finally doing it doing it right now granted I know the setting of the game's futuristic but there's no thruster packs there's no boost jumping there's no wall running there's none of that crazy crap it's straight up boots on the ground combat but I feel like you know it's just too little too late for a lot of people and you know with Fortnite here and all that stuff I don't think Call of Duty's ever going to go back to being what it used to be for a lot of people it's going to get it's going to get close it's going to get damn near close I think between this game and Blackout I think this will be the year where it really hits a peak again but I don't think it's going to get back to, to the way it used to be. But when it comes to this game and the change that it has, I just feel like this change is something they should have did a long time ago. Like, I don't think this change is enough to, you know, to be relevant right now. Now, what they did is, I'm not going to say they turned Call of Duty into a 
hero shooter, but they turned it into a more tactical team-based shooter. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, and you know, me personally, I'm a tactical style player, so I use the word tactical a lot. You've probably heard me use that term in Call of Duty before, but let me explain to you what's actually going on here. There are different specialist characters. Every single character you pick has a um, has a different ability that helps with things like you know supporting the team, map control, um, pinning down other enemies, and stuff and stuff like that. The weapons in here now have suppressive fire fire mechanics. The um the guns have predictive recoil recoil patterns that you know the more you play with a certain gun, the better you'll get with it. You'll get rewarded for you know for your own play style. And you know this game also it supports more of a you know a position holding campy kind of play style more than its traditional you know run and gun chaotic play style like for example the mode I'm playing here control it's not a mode where you just want to you know run out mindlessly like an idiot and just keep getting shot over and over because you know your team has has lives every every live you use you want to make it count for something. You want to make sure you're taking some of that objective or you're taking out a few people with you. And that's the first time for for um for call for Call of Duty. I, I've never I've never seen, you know, tactics and stuff like this added to the game before. And this honestly makes it a lot of fun because this is the kind of shooters that I like to play. Like, don't get me wrong. I've always loved Call of Duty's crazy arcade run and gun chaotic style, but the fact that they brought a whole new death of tactical in here is just more of a more of a turn on for me so with that being said the one thing I can say about this game is it's not going to appeal to every Call of Duty fan and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that make that clear one right here one thing I have noticed about this game is it's been getting a lot of attention from the battlefield community youtubers like Matimio Jack Frags I'm not talking, you know, like small YouTubers. I'm talking about guys in the millions of subscribers ranges. They have been praising this game because, you know, it kind of reminds them of games like Rainbow Six Siege. You know, the real hardcore tactical shooters where, you know, you really have to think on think on your feet, playing moves that require teamwork and, and stuff like that. A lot of them have been playing this, enjoying it, and showcasing it on their on their channels and stuff. So Call of Duty is um it's going in a different direction. And it's also starting to attract a whole new a whole new fan base now in all honesty that's a good thing you want something new you want something fresh but at the same time the people who like the um the classic you know version of it I feel like they're going to be a, just a little bit a little bit disappointed now don't get me wrong it still feels like Call of Duty that same run and gun nonsense that you that you get that you do in past Call of Duties it's still here like when you play modes like T Team Deathmatch and stuff like that is still here. But it's very apparent, and um, one thing I can say that the critics are right about with this game is, this game really does cater to objective style of style players. As you know, score streaks are back, kill streaks aren't a thing, you know, it's about it's about the amount of points you score, not about the amount of kills that you get, um, which are a little bit annoying and can be annoying in games like Team Deathmatch, because it can take like five or six kills to get a UAV now. I remember the days where it was three kills to get a UAV. Now it's like five or five or six. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't bother me, but just holy crap, that's a lot of work for a for a for a UAV. But one thing about this game and one thing it's focused on a lot more is um is map control. Like a lot of these maps you'll see too when you play them, they're well designed maps. They're all fun. Every map I've played so far in the beta, I really enjoyed. I've yet to see a map that I don't like. But you're gonna notice that they're really just catering more towards objective gameplay. Like every single map has tons. They got the usual Treyarch three lane style, but they have tons of flanking routes, cover spots, camp spots, places you know you can hide, make slick plays, and, and and stuff like that. Not the kind of things that you know you see in a normal Call of Duty. Like there's more there's more windows and buildings than usual and stuff like that. All kinds of you know different different spots where you know you can you can get an edge on the enemy and that's a really cool thing to me I personally I personally enjoy that but I really just feel just feel personally that this game is really going to attract a new a new kind of audience like I've been I've been blowing up talking about this game on um on uh, Twitter and honestly I want to thank you guys for that because um you guys have been showing me 
mad love and support on Twitter with um with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I cannot thank you guys so much. Like the hype I've been getting on Twitter right now of Black Ops 4 is almost the kind of hype I was getting around the time when Terra when Terra was coming out. And that is an amazing thing. It's good to know that you guys um do support the passion that I really enjoy here. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my MMOs. I love making my MMO videos. But man, Call of Duty is my is my baby. Call of Duty is my baby. If you know me, you know I love I love my Call of Duty. Every year I buy my Call of Duty. I go to the midnight launch. I I, I suck to Cod Cock faithfully every single single year. Call of Duty is my is my freaking game. It's my passion. It's been for a long time, and it's going to be going to continue being that for a long time. But um, the things I really I really enjoy I really enjoy about this game are I love its new tactical its new tactical style of play. I love the um the predictive recoil in the guns. The new map, new mini map, I think is a little bit, a little bit weird. It just takes me some getting used to. I don't dislike it. It's just different. I just have to, I just personally have to learn it. The only thing that does bother me, bother me really with this game, is the fact that um, that some of the specialists just seem a little, a little over, overpowered and just you know like unstoppable. Like there are some there are some guys like let's take Ajax for example the guy with the um with the riot shield. There was a point where this man was standing or was standing against in a match for me. He was standing against my attack chopper and my strike team. It took an attack chopper and a strike team to take down a really skilled Ajax. Now don't get me wrong. That's not a bad thing because, you know, that shows uh, the skill gap in this game. That shows that, you know, if a player gets really good with a certain specialist, they can be very effective. But I'm going to say this so it processes through your minds again. It took me two high-powered killstreaks. You know, killstreaks, the game, the things in Call of Duty that are used for killing multiple players at a time. It took me two high-powered killstreaks to kill one person because... He got that good with that specific class. That personally just makes me a little, a little nervous for, you know, because like one thing we've learned is I want you guys to go back and think to, you know, when Black Ops 3 first came out, the main selling point was of it was it's a crossover of boots on the ground and the new movement system because like, um, because, you know, they toned down the movement from advanced warfare. They gave you a thrust jumper gauge. You can only use it up to a certain extent and stuff like that. Well, look at Black Ops 3 from the first time you played the beta and how basic grounded it, it felt. Like, it felt like a boots-on-the-ground game with a little jump. Compared to what it looks like now, people jumping, running on walls, jumping off to another wall, and then 360 quick scoping you in your mouth. The point of what I'm saying is people learn to adapt to these games and learn to abuse the benefits that are given, especially in Call of Duty. Look at snipers. They went from, you know, just being unstoppable to quick scoping you. Like there are quick scopers out there who are more efficient with a sniper rifle close up than a player with a shotgun is close up. And that's because, you know, they just learn to utilize the tools that have been given to them in Call of Duty. When it comes to this game, you just have to be really careful with which um with which benefits you um you give people. Now there's a lot of pe people who are out there saying, you know, things like the SMGs are a bit overpowered and stuff like that. I personally think that the submachine guns need a bit of dominance because you have to remember shotguns are now a secondary weapon in Black Ops 4 as well. So the fact that, you know, those are now a secondary weapon. There's only one main there's only one primary close quarters weapon and that's SMG. And for that category, and for close quarters weapons only have one main category, they do need a little bit of dominance. So, you know, that category is wanting to, to be used. Now, you know, there are some weapons that, you know, need some tuning and balancing. There are some things that are, you know, overpowered and underpowered and stuff like that. But that, all, that stuff comes with tuning and time. So I'm really not even going get, to get into that in this video. And I personally don't even feel like I've played the game and experimented with the weapons enough to even, to even judge that. But honestly, guys... I like Black Ops 4. I love it. I'm enjoying it. I'm honestly, I haven't been this hyped for Call of Duty in a long time. I'm in the long run. I'm just personally afraid that this game is not going to appeal to all the Call of Duty players. That's why I like the community has been more 
50-50 with this game. Some people like the new tactical style of play, and some people don't. But my recommendation to older Call of Duty players especially, listen, and I'm going to be straight up real with you. For the past four years now, you guys have done nothing but complain, whine, because, you know, you want something different. And, you know, when you get something that's the same, you whine about that too. For the first time ever, Call of Duty has changed in a in a good way. Like the thrust jumping thing. We didn't like that. So it's now boots on the ground with a new mechanic. If there's any time to give Call of Duty another try, right now is the time. Because this is a cool new system that's, you know, not changing the game for the worse. Unlike, you know, the thrust jumpers. You guys have seen where innovation has gone with with Call of Duty before. And the last time they tried to innovate, it was it was bad. It, it was it was terrible. Nobody liked, you know, the the, the wall jumping and, and all that crap. Well we have boots on the ground, core Black Ops 2 like gameplay. Heck, even some mechanics from, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and stuff like that are brought into this game. The AC-130 is back. You know, all a lot of classic kill streaks. All kinds, all kinds of stuff. There's even, even um, there's body armor that works like the Juggernaut perk. It's like they've taken good chips and pieces from a lot of Call of Duties and blended them all into one game. The two things Infinite Warfare did right: the health bars and the guns up 24/7. That's in here. They took parts that were good from every COD game. And brought him into this one while throwing a new twist on the multiplayer. So you have a more strategic and tactical experience. My personal my personal opinion, guys, if there's been any if there's ever been a time where you thought about, you know, giving Call of Duty another chance, this is the right time. But anyway, guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out, take care.